Hi, right, so welcome guys. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to set your renditions, make your rendition settings and also before you start rendering your archi card and which one is best to use. Okay, so let's get right on to it. Now you can see here yeah, I have a finished work I've already done and I'm just going to go through it and then I show you some things to do. So I'm going to zoom in. Here's a floor plan. I've already done a working drawing, right? Actually, and I have submitted to the, the client. So this is a floor plan. I've already done the uh, exterior setting, but I want to show you guys how to do that easily and the best way to do it. So here's the floor plan. This is the road. This is the road. The access road to the site, and this is the entrance gate to the site. So now let me add. Um, let me just add. Okay, let me not add it. Alright, let me just get right into the 3D window. Okay, I'm not seeing it there, so let me take it up. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing it here, right? Okay, so now, uh, let's make some settings. Go down to the 3D window. Remove oh, this over here. At this point. Uh, so you see me. Right. Okay. Right. This is how it looks like. Here's how I'm doing my most of the works perspective this is how it looks like if you can see now as you can see it has lines on it showing lines structured color lines which is um, 2d lines on your floor plan this is how you have already made the 3d the model i've already modeled it so what i'm going to do is to show you guys how to set this to start working i said this to move these lines and everything so what you have to do is go to this menu here you see 3d window settings click on it 3d window settings click on 3d window settings and this pop up 3d window settings so now what you want to do here is this one is okay open gl shading is okay contours best just turn it off because these lines are what is referring there as contours and transparency in shadow turn it off sun shadow leave it on and make this single color or oh, in rendering as the case may be then it sets so you click ok so now you see what draw just happened Everything has done come back to normal. Everything has changed. So let me go to trim the 3D window settings and show you guys how to set it before you start rendering and the type of settings you're going to choose. Right now, this this windows I'm using them um, Akikad 18. For those of you who don't know which one I'm using, Akikad 18 and from 18 19. They are mostly the same. They are graded, okay. So this is how the photo render, photo rendering settings look like. And the, here you can the shuffle to see how the image look like after rendering. And this is custom sign render the engine. So now you're going to change the engine instead of using sign render by Maxton Maxton. You change it to internal. Why do I have to change it to internal? Because the sign render. Let me go back. The sign render max takes time to to finish rendering and it's time consuming. And in the case whereby you're using too many objects on your 3D window, it will take you like up to five hours. You can you can sit down for up to five hours waiting for it to render. Whereas with the use of uh, internal rendering, internal engine, you can do it within five ten minutes. No matter how big your work is, five ten at least. 20 minutes and um, it can be done with it so you can change your background 
check, check the effect. Let me go back and go to the effects. You see here the, the method, it's best effects emission, you know. I don't know if transparency and fog, but if you want to use it, if you move if you made settings for that, you can also use it too. And anti aliasing is best. Light sources. These are light sources. You increase the quality of it from low to high. Then background you have changed it. And then let's see how it look like after rendering by clicking on it. And let's wait and see for the rendering. And you see it's just going to show you guys how okay this is how it will look like after rendering so what i'm going to do now is to click to render condition and behind behind here is what is doing the started rendering and if you can see what's going on behind the screen just need to move it just for me to move it and uh, Let's see how it goes. Still rendering. Why it's still rendering? Still rendering. Alright, it's done. So I'm going to move this one. And here is how it's looking like, like a picture. So you can click. Ctrl S to save. No, Ctrl Shift S to save this picture. If you want to use it for to tell, tell, give to a client, also you can click Ctrl Shift S to save it. Now let's go back. Let me see Ctrl Shift S. And this cups this comes up where you want to save it. You type in the name. And you type in whatever you want to put. Change it. Then here. You change the image if you want to save it as PDF, you cannot save it as PDF. If you want to save it as an image, you choose PG, PNG, or JPEG, whichever is best for you. Then you click, type in the name, let me say MA1. Okay, then you click on save and it automatically saves for you. Yeah. That's it for today, guys. If you like the video, or there are questions you want to ask just click just go down to the comment there and make some comments and i'll reply you okay and if there's any contributions on what you think i did that is not is not okay it's, it's okay but we are all learning you can just comment below and also tell me what you think about the video and how it helped you okay click subscribe below to subscribe to this channel if you like and if you want me to be uploading because i'm going to be uploading videos every tuesdays and fridays for you guys so stay tuned and wait for and see you next time thank you